so for adulting, we're going to talk about the theme of turning a hobby into a business. Um, this has been a big trend during the pandemic, according to the New York Times. Yelp recorded nearly 100,000 business closures in the beginning of 2020, but also a 10% rise in new, bu new businesses selling baked goods during the same period. So small businesses were closing, big businesses were shuttering their locations, and entrepreneurs were starting to sell 10% more baked goods than they did before. Etsy, which is also a good indicator of small entrepreneurial creative businesses, saw a huge spike in small business sellers, nearly 50% throughout 2020. Um, I think there's obviously a lot of enticing things about having a full-time job, benefits, security, coworkers, the, the chance or the semblance of a career. It's also incredible to be able to leave that corporate life for a project that you love. And there are a lot of things with that that you need to think about. Number one, considering the money you'd have to spend to get the project off the ground. I think it's great to have a hobby. Um, it can turn your hobby into a business, but you need to be realistic about what that's going to take, not only in terms of your time, but also in terms of product development. You may need to trademark something. You may need a patent. You've got to think about all of the intricacies in building the business itself. I had a friend who built a business in solar. It was so incredible to watch him do that, but it was also almost heartbreaking to see how much money that cost him and how long it took because bringing his vision to life was dependent on so many pieces of the supply chain to see that come to fruition. The second thing you should do is to make sure you've tested out the product. Uh, you shouldn't launch a business on a whim. You should understand if your business has market fit. You should understand what people want, why people want it. You should have a good story around your product. And then you should also test it to see if you can actually make it sell. So it's a great idea to have a lemonade stand, but if no one on your street wants lemonade, or it's very cold outside, your product is probably not going to sell. That's the same of turning a hobby into a business. Always a great idea to write a business plan, everything from the company overview to what your marketing strategy would be and how you think that sales uh, or traction can be gained month over month, week over week, and year over year. I wouldn't spend too much time getting caught into that, but you should have a sense of hey, how long can I do this for? How much money do I need to be able to give my project a real run? And what's it going to take to, to make this thing take hold? And how will I know when I'm having success? Obviously, finding a social media presence is a great way and a super free way to find audience. And I, what I would say finally is you've got to maintain some emotional distance with your hobby slash business. One, I think it's easy to have a hobby, but when your hobby becomes a business, your relationship with that hobby changes and you've got to be prepared for that. And then second, sometimes your hobby isn't going to be a great business and it's not going to yield uh, a living or it's not going to drive the type of monetary results that you need or the type of success that you would want. And you have to be able to walk away. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in that very scenario of just trying and trying and trying to make your hobby a business and not seeing it work. <laughs>